Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. A couple of weeks ago, I was watching one of my favorite TV stations to view, QVC, and <laughs> came across a rather interesting makeup helpful tip. And I thought I would try it out with you all today and uh, see how it works. And this tip came from the woman who created the Vintage Cosmetic Company. Uh, this cosmetic company does not do cosmetics per se. They do um, like eyelash curlers and tweezers, um, nail files, all sorts of beauty implements that you use in your everyday life. And the neat thing about this is, is that they're reminiscent of the 1950s. And it's really a neat company. I really like the products. I like the look of the products. I have not used anything from that yet, but they're just really neat to see the different uh, designs that she has uh, put on them. Very pretty, very feminine. A whole different era in the 1950s, the way the women lived and <laughs> presented themselves. So this little makeup tip that she gave, I was really, I was like, hmm, I might like that. I'm going to try it. So stay with me. I'll be right back and I'll show you that little tip and if it works or not on me. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Now, we're going to see if this works. And hopefully, I'm trying to find a place to lay my glasses. I'll not burn my eyelid. That's when I saw this little trick, I thought, oh, what happens if you get it too hot? You know? So, we'll see. I gotta clean off the eye makeup. Now, once again, I don't have any eyeshadows on because I'm still going back and forth between using my um, Estee Lauder uh, mascara that I love and then the other one that I'm testing. And uh, the only thing I have on my eyelids is uh, Painterly by MAC. And that's just to even out my skin tone because I do have some veins that show through there. So that's the only reason why that's on there. Okay? So, oh, let's heat this baby up and see what happens. than what I thought it would. Okay, that's just a little too hot. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see here what happens. Nope, still too hot. Definitely does not take long to heat up. I was thinking longer time. Silly me. Oh my goodness. These babies are crimped like they've never been crimped before. Ah, it works. Okay, let's see how the mascara goes on because I'm just going to go ahead in with my Estee Lauder. Get out of there. Now oh, this is my eye that's always crazy anyway. But, 
my lashes meaning not the one that I have problems with it drooping all right let's go for the other side see what happens there because that's my better side okay not let it get so hot this time hot. Boy, it amazes me how all at once it feels cold and the next thing you know that baby is hot. It only takes just a few seconds. Still too hot, I can feel it. I would recommend though like I said, with this side, my lashes kind of are, I think I actually need, believe it or not, to trim them. I think that's what the problem is because I use that growth serum. And on this side, I have some that are extremely long and are kind of odd. And I think, I, I know it sounds weird, but I really think I need to trim them. Oh my goodness. The crimping on that, who knew that was going to work like that? So I would say to make sure that you comb your lashes before and get them where you want them because just like with your hair, you're going to have some really crazy, your lashes are going to go in some crazy places if you're not careful. Wow. All I can say is wow. I mean, it is a big noticeable difference. I'm sure you can't tell too much from that end. <coughs> Believe me though, I promise I'm not lying. Let me go with my bottom ones here. And of course I use the MAC on my bottom lashes because I'm so messy. Number one, I'm messy. I have a poker, number two, I'll poke myself in the eye if I have too big of a wand and I'm not careful. And number three, this stays. It does not transfer off under my eyes. So I don't have raccoon eyes. I wish I would have combed this side. It could have used it. But like I said, I really think that a lot of my issue over there is I just need to flat out trim some lashes. All right, I'm back. Uh, first of all, I want to say, um, of course, I've been to work, <laughs> spent a whole day at work, and it's now 10 after 2 in the morning. What else is new in my life, okay? So this little trick <laughs> with the eyelash curler it helped hold my lashes up I mean it, now they're not as upright as they were when I first did it of course I don't expect them to over the course of the day they are naturally going to come down some but this was a really good tip <laughs> and um, so I'm very happy with it but once again I would not do this every day of my life because as with the curling iron, the heat that you're putting to your hair, you know what kind of damage it does over time. And I would naturally assume the same thing would happen with your eyelashes. But for a special occasion, um, a date, a fancy dinner, party, something like that, well then yes. But I am not recommending this at all to be done every day. But I would like to hear back if any of you have ever heard from about this little trip, 
a trip. T <laughs> Boy, and once again, it's late at night. This little makeup tip before, if any of you ever have heard about it. And if you have done this, I would like to hear from you all back. So in the comment section, as I always tell you, that's the place for your voice to be heard. Let me know. And then if you do decide to try it, let me know what it does for you how it behaves with your eyelashes. Uh, for me, I, I was very, very happy with this. Okay, so let's move on into the giveaway. And I ordered these well over a month ago and they were on uh, delayed shipping. And then they got delayed even more. And I was so afraid I wasn't gonna get them before Christmas, but we did. And there are two of them. And I was going to do a double giveaway where I would draw two names. But something happened the other day at work and my heart was touched by a little girl. Uh, I know her mommy. <laughs> Hi Taylor. And uh, her mommy lets her watch my YouTube videos. And of course I'm nobody on YouTube. I know that. I'm just you know, a very small little drop of water in the big pond. But her eyes lit up when she saw me. She recognized me and she called me the YouTube lady. <laughs> uh, and she just, uh, it was a long struggling day at work and she lifted me when she did that. She just doesn't know um, what she did for me. So, one of these is going to Taylor. And Taylor told me that her favorite princess from the Frozen movie is Elsa. So Taylor, honey, this is what's coming to you tomorrow when mommy comes home from work. And uh, Taylor does do some makeup. She is very young, but um, she does some things at school in which she does use makeup, her mommy tells me. so. She is getting from Mally, and this is uh, with Disney approval, of course, and she's getting the Elsa Princess set. And what she's getting in this, of course, this is all Mally's Bulletproof Cosmetics, and Elsa's uh, colors are all in the plums and the pinks. And uh, so she's getting two of the shadows, She's getting an eyeliner, and then this one right back here is double-ended, and on this one, she's getting the blush and a highlighter. One's on one end, one is on the other. Of course, she's getting a tube of the More Is More Mascara, which is like my number two best friend in mascara, and then she's getting a very pretty lip color. And another little thing that I just adore in this I love this is this reminds me of my Pop Duvall's railroad watch that I used to love to sit in on his lap and play with when I was a little girl and it has a very pretty can you see that a snowflake and underneath it says powerful beauty and Taylor you certainly are that and then you open and there is a beautiful mirror and one is regular and then one is magnifying so this is coming to you tomorrow baby mama will bring it to you now I do still have one for a giveaway so the one that is left that I will be drawing a name for is of course Anna and Anna's presentation looks like this and then of course here is Elsa's in the blue okay and I'm not going to open up the colors you guys know I don't like doing that I really don't like messing with makeup where I can mangle it or germ it or anything like that I'm, I know I'm a freak so but in this once again you're getting all the same products just different colors um, Elsa's colors are plums and pinks and Anna's are in the browns and nudes okay but it's all the same thing you get two of her bulletproof eyeshadows 
the eyeliner, and then the double-ended where you get the blush on one end and the highlighter on the other, and then the More is More mascara and the lip color. But on Anna's mirror, and it has, of course, the snowflake again design. On the back, it kind of has almost like a fleur-de-lis, somewhat like that. And on this one, it says, yeah, oh, okay. This one, it, it says, on the back side, it, both of them, it says, on the front, powerful beauty. And then on the back, it says, follow your heart. Let me look with the back of the other one if it's any different than this one. And then once again, it has the same opening, and you get the magnifying and regular mirror. So, hold on here one moment. I want to double check this one and make sure it says the same thing on the back. I didn't realize it was written on front and back both. I think these are just so sweet. Okay. Yes, they both, it says the same thing. It says powerful beauty and follow your heart. Okay, so they're both identical in the mirrors. So that's the giveaway. And um, these are a $55 retail value. And I think the presentation on them is just beautiful. Of course, you have the pictures of the princesses and different things that are reminiscent from the little Disney film. Okay. And then let me get this one up and twirl it around. I know the light is reflecting off of it, but hopefully you'll be able to see some of the artwork there as we come around with it. So I think they're just lovely. And this is something pretty enough. You could leave this sitting out on your makeup table. I think it's great. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. Elsa has been claimed that goes to Taylor. But Anna will be for the drawing. And we will do this drawing on Wednesday, December the 20th at 5 p.m. So I'm sorry guys, not to, but Taylor, she just took my heart right away from me that at that moment. So Taylor gets one of these. Okay, so you all know what you gotta do. You gotta be subscribed to the channel, please. <laughs> And then, of course, if you are set up with YouTube properly, you will, a little bell will show up once you hit up that subscribe button. And if you click that little bell, you will be notified each and every time that I do upload a video. And you all know I do love to give things away. And uh, then, of course, uh, you can either do a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That just indicates to me that you either enjoy this type of video or you have no desire to see these types of things. Um, and then of course, uh, just scroll down to the bottom and where the comment section is and just say, enter me. That's all it takes, all right? So, once again, hope you all enjoyed this little makeup tip trick. <laughs> and uh, I hope you all will enter into the drawing for the other set that's left. And Taylor, thank you. And you all have a great day and be fabulous and be fearless with that makeup. Bye-bye.